Hello, I'm Darren Labuke of VL Photography, and this is my backyard. Well, fall's rolled in, it's starting to get colder, almost winter time. The other day we actually had snow, so uh, I've been doing a lot of inside work with the toy photography again, so I just thought I would bring you along and uh, show you some tricks and different things that you can pull off to do some toy photography when you can't get out to do the nature photography. So, uh, here we go. Okay, so uh, I moved inside. I got uh, this Stormtrooper here, which is actually Han Solo. Uh, action figure I really wanted for a while. And uh, I finally got him. So I had an idea. He came with this box. And his box has these nice blue lines on it. And what I want to do is I want to stand him in here like this. And be like, kind of like, looking down like... He's contemplating life or uh, concentrating on whether or not he can make the shot. I think I can. I think I can. Anyway, uh, idea I had just nice close with the macro lens so that uh, it's nice tight portrait shot of him. So that was the idea number one. Now, idea number two I had was um, online you can get wallpaper and stuff that look like uh, Star Wars background or like you're on the Death Star or something like that. So I have this guy here. I printed this out, a picture that I found, a wallpaper picture, and I just stuck it to uh, some cardboard. It's just taped up at the top. You could glue it on as well. And then uh, just standing uh, one of the stormtroopers, This, in this case it's Finn, uh, standing him in front of the picture. So, uh, something real simple, a little key light just in front of them to give a little bit of a glow. Uh, super simple. Uh, you could do it with other figures with these two backgrounds or finding a different background that might work for you better. Um, but it's just an idea that I thought I'd throw out there for you. Finally no rain and uh, I can get outside, do a little bit of photos. So uh, in this particular photo, I just wanted to do a nice one. I got uh, crypto when I went to see the, uh, the Super Pets movie and I just wanted him to be sitting beside Superman. So I took one of my Superman out of the cabinet and we're just going to uh, set it up. So just super simple photo. Him sitting on a couple of bricks make it look like he's sitting on a wall I'm gonna use a ring light uh, to give a little bit of an orange glow on the, his uh, front so that way he's a little bit lit instead of shaded and uh, yeah so uh, something just really simple uh, can end up being a really good photo Okay, here we go with another idea that I had. Um, I'm going to bring in the bricks that I was using earlier with the Superman photo. And uh, I have this, one of my favorite action figures actually that I own. 
this uh, Deathstroke, uh, which is one of the McFarlane Toys ones. I uh, really love the detail on this one. It's one of my favorite that I own, um, other than my Superman collection, of course. Um, we're going to stand him up on the bricks, have a key light in front of him aimed like up upwards so it looks like he's standing like up above a fiery uh city that's in the background with just the orange light uh glowing behind him and him just standing on the on the uh bricks making him look like he's standing up high and uh that's just like using your surroundings that you have around you another good thing that for background this brick that I have behind here, I use in some photos as well. Um, you might notice it if you uh, have followed any of my photos on Instagram. And um, I'll put a I'll put a link to my Instagram actually in the bottom. I have a lot of my toy photography as well as my nature photography portraits. Uh, pretty much everything I do is uh, posted there. So uh, I'll leave a link and uh, go check it out. So our power went out, so I thought I'd take the opportunity. I have some uh, Christmas lights that I can hook up to a battery and uh, my circle lights, which also can hook up to a battery and uh, doing some nighttime shots with lights in the background. I have some moss and we're gonna use uh, Killmonger and set up uh, some photos, make him look like he's out in the jungle some ground. I have another Superman here, the uh, metal version, and uh, we're gonna do some nighttime shots because power's out, so why not? So I had another idea that I wanted to do of a Christmas photo. So we got some uh, cardboard from the dollar store uh, to make a backdrop, an infinity wall. And then we got some flower and little rocks from the dollar store as well. A couple rocks from outside in my yard. And uh, we uh, made this bag here and a Santa hat for the stormtrooper. And I actually got this guy here in the background for free, uh, just as a background prop to put behind the stormtrooper uh, to make it look like it's his uh, it's his sleigh. So uh, we're gonna see how this works. Uh, I'll give you a, a little bit of video showing you the setup, but uh, really basic, really simple. I got my circle light here in the front to put a glow on the the Stormtrooper in the front and on the uh, ATST that's sitting right here. And then the side light to light the scene. Um, I just realized that I probably have to put a backlight on to this is looking a little dark. So uh, we're going to do that, set it all up and see how it goes. So I had to get my son to help me out with this shot. Uh, it's uh, Keep the change, filthy animal. And it's one of the stormtroopers there, and he's using a Gatlin gun. And uh, we're just single light with the uh, circle light. And then I had uh, my son sprinkle some snow in behind it. And uh, there's what we got. Pretty cool. So I uh, can't wait to see the uh, final product.
Here's another idea for you. I protected my computer screen up onto my TV, got an underwater um, backdrop or wallpaper, and then we put up a uh, Namar here on a wood dowel held up by my coffee cup uh, just to get him high enough that uh, the blue is behind him and use the blue light on my phone. I have a flashlight app that allows me to change the color and uh, made a blue light with my ring light showing a little bit of orange to add a little bit of glow. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's another idea. Nice and simple. You just need your action figure and a TV and some sort of light source. And I mean, you can make any backdrop come to life. Living on Vancouver Island, we don't get a lot of snow. So the other day when it actually snowed early this year, snow in November doesn't happen very often, I got the opportunity to do a couple shots outside with the in my backyard of the stormtroopers in the snow. The stormtrooper in the snow was actually a really easy shot to pull off. Um, we got him a cape off of one of the other superheroes, a staff for him to hold, and he's holding his gun. And he's just standing actually on my trampoline with the snow cover all around him, uh, making it look like he's just in this vast field of snow all by himself. So uh, it, it, be creative if you get to get outside. If the weather's bad, make good use of it, whether it's rain or snow. And uh, just if you're sticking around the house, there you go. Well, thank you for joining me on my backyard. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and uh, have a good day, and we'll see you next time.